awesome string players. It's good to see you. I'm Stephanie, and I wish that you were for real here in my house um, or that we were for real in the classroom, but that's not, not what we're doing today. I am excited to work with you. This is String Time with Stephanie. And earlier this week, I was playing a concert for my neighbors outside. They enjoyed it, and I know that they would probably like to hear you. It might not be possible. You might be in an apartment, or maybe your neighbor has a baby, or um, you're just not able to play right now, but I sure hope you're practicing, and maybe you could play a concert for your family over the phone or FaceTime or something like that. I'm sure they would love to hear you play. Music is always a really healing thing right now, and I hope that you are practicing. All right, we're gonna talk about today and what we're gonna do. We're gonna learn um, twinkle rhythm variations, and that is gonna include talking about bow distribution, so like how much of the bow are we gonna use and where in the bow are we gonna be trying to play? And then we're gonna be talking about um, different rhythms that we use to make different sounds. So that is the plan. I'm really excited to get started. So instrument, bow, you're gonna need your packet if you have it, or you might want your book. And then we're gonna get started. I'll see you in a minute. All right, now that you have your instrument and your bow and everything that you need, I wanna to talk to you about bow distribution. That's a super big word. And it is really kind of just basically saying, where in the bow do you want to be playing in? Because if we play too far, look at, here's my little awesome diagram. Ooh, there, if we play too far at the frog, then we're going to get kind of a weird, crunchy sound if we play too hard. And if we play way at the tip over here, we're going to get a really light sound. So there's all these different ways that you can play in all these different places. We have the lower half and the upper half. We have the lower third, middle third, upper third, that one right here. And then at the very top, then it divides it into four pieces. And that is, um, I still kind of want to use the words frog, middle, and tip for that for you. Okay, so this is basic bow distribution. Now, um, if we are playing only at the frog, like this, right here, we can get a pretty crunchy sound sometimes. If we're playing way at the tip, we can get a really light sound. So the best part of the bow for you to be playing is right there at the balancing point. It, for the violins and the violas, it makes our elbow a little square like that. And for cello, if we're playing that, it's just right right there in the, in the middle of the balancing point. So that is where we wanna be playing. And you can figure out the balancing point on your own. And we're gonna take some time to do that right now. So you can put your a bow, to back up a little bit, and it's, I'm resting it flat. The horse here is pointing towards me and both my fingers, one at the tip and one at the frog. And just slowly kind of work your way with both your fingers inwards. And that is your balancing point. That is where you wanna set your bow on the string when you're ready to play. So I'm gonna go back um, and I'm using both fingers and I'm just slowly sneaking in, kind of very slow. Both my fingers, where the bow kind of gets a little tippy, that is your balancing point. And that's where you wanna play when we set our bow on the string. That's where we wanna start. So if I'm gonna start my bow on the balancing point, here's my balancing point, I found it, without touching the horse hairs, right there, the balancing point right there. Or for cello, the balancing point right there. That's really important, okay? And then we're just gonna go about four inches. We're not gonna get all the way to the tip. You can try that on the A string. Just stay. Oh my gosh. 
Um, <laughs> that's my dog. He's howling at me. So not you. He's not howling at you. He's howling at me. Why don't you go ahead and try playing back and forth. This is called the middle of the bow. That's where we're going to be playing most of the time for this lesson. All right, now that we've talked about that magical spot on the bow, the balancing point, we've got it all figured out right where it is. We're gonna start our first bowing rhythm variation of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. In your book, if you wanted to follow along, it's on page 15, and um, if not, it's in your packets, and when we play all together, it, it will be up on your screen too, so don't, don't worry about it, but I have my, um, my cello all set, and the first rhythm is called Mississippi stop stop say it with me ready go Mississippi stop stop and the bowing I put my bow on the balance point I'm just going to be on the D string for now and I'm just going to start there and it's a really kind of a short stop stop sound let's try it on D together one two and here we go that's it and let's switch to the A string. Ready, go. That's it, let's just go back and forth. D then A, ready, set, Mississippi, stop. That's it. The next note is first finger B. Then A. Then all four G. F sharp, E, D. And this might be happening too, you too, where the first the tapes are a little bit off. I keep forgetting that these tapes are, are not right, so I'm playing a lot of tune, but I know that you're not going to care about that right now, right? We're just practicing our bow distribution. So let's try it again. All the first part of Twinkle Twinkle, and in your packet, or in your book, it's that first part, and it's that D, 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 A, 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 B, 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 A, 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 and then it goes on and on like that. So you're kind of playing this Mississippi stop, stop, this rhythm here, the first four for the first note, and then the second two for the next part. All right, here we go. One and two, and ready, go. A. B. A. And G. F sharp. E. D. The next part is A. just staying in that middle part of the bow. Nice job, I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to practice that and then we're gonna move on to the next variation.
All right, now that you've start, you've finished practicing your Mississippi Stop Stop, now we're gonna try our next variation, which is Down Puppy Up Puppy. And Down Puppy Up Puppy looks like this. Yeah, right there, that's it. Box number two, this one that I'm pointing at right here, and that's Down Puppy Up Puppy. That is super fancy looking, but I know you can do it. And remember that on the cello, if we go to the direction of down bow, that's kind of this pulling motion this way, right? We're gonna move that way. And then that up bow is that pushing motion. So a pull and then a push. And when we go down bow, we're gonna start at the balancing point, that magic spot we've talked about. Down, and then we're gonna stay right here. Pop B for little bows. Up, pop B. Down, puppy, up, puppy. Can you put your bow up? We're gonna try it. And for down bow, we're gonna go down this way. One, two, down, puppy, go. Down, puppy, up, puppy. Down, puppy, up, puppy. Down, puppy, up. Good, that's nice. And remember cellos, cellos, that we're gonna do that pinky hanging down and don't get that leaning into that, that that pinky, that's not good. Make sure you're leaning into that first finger just slightly. We don't wanna to go too crazy. That's like about super violin-y, viola -y. We don't wanna do that. Just a slight tilt though is, is okay with all those fingers spread apart. All right, down, puppy, up, puppy. Let's do it on D first. One, two, and ready, go. <laughs> Just the D, 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 D. Just that first little section. One, two, and ready, go. your twinkle variation with that down, puppy, up, puppy. If you can get through the whole song, great. If you can only get through that first part, it's no problem. This is really tricky business that I'm asking you to take care of right now. So um, if even that part's too hard, I just want you to focus on your open string bowing, that down, puppy, up, puppy bowing right now. Great, hopefully that went okay for you. I know it's a little bit tricky, but the last thing we're gonna do is a variation that you can definitely practice this week at home if you need a little bit more of a challenge, um, or you can just practice on open strings just like we did for the other ones. So this first one is Little Tiny Motorcycle. Little Tiny Motorcycle. And that is this box right there. Look at how fancy and awesome you are. We're gonna use really short bows, staccato bows. Um, I have a joke for you about staccato, are you ready? Oh, it's too short. Do you get it? Staccato, short? <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Okay, all right, well, here we go. This is going to be Little Tiny Motorcycle. And instead of starting at that magical spot, the balancing point, we're gonna do a tiny little down bow or a pull, a pull bow, and we're gonna go into the middle of the bow right there, just like that. And we're just gonna use about one inch of bow. Just that much, ready, set, little tiny, go. Mm -hmm. 
All right, you did it. That was probably a bit of a challenge for us and that's always good. But remember that if you're practicing this, you could always just start on the open strings, just getting that rhythm and focusing on where in the bow you're playing, that you're really using that small amount of bow and that you're really paying attention to, are you starting at the balancing point and staying in that, that area that you're supposed to be for each of the variations for um, Mississippi stop stop for down puppy up puppy and for little tiny motorcycles if you can get further and start adding it to your song then that's what you can be doing all right I hope that you had fun today and I really um, you really do miss having my students in my class and I know that you miss being there so I hope that you're practicing and don't forget to give a shout out to your EIM teachers on Schoology all right see you next time